Turn to John chapter 18. John chapter 18. Let's pause for just a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, what a task to stand behind your sacred desk. Thank you, Lord, for the inspiration of a message. And Father, I pray that as I feebly try to deliver, Lord, you would take the words of this old sinner here. Lord, because it's your word that you will plant it in the lives of those who hear. Lord, that we may not just hear with our ears. We may hear with our hearts. And we'll respond to your Spirit's call today. And I give you the glory for every victory. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. And all God's people said. Amen. Amen. I've heard it said that truth is the scarcest commodity in the whole world. And folks, I believe that. Our world in its current situation says that truth is different. It's relative. In other words, I may have a truth that may be different to another person's truth, But the world says both truths are true. But is that what God's Word says? The world does not believe in absolute truth. But folks, I'm here to say, there is an absolute truth. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this stuff because I'm going to run all over it if I don't. Let me just just kind of bring that back. There we go. I, uh, I have a tendency to move around. And uh, if it gets in my blind spot, I may walk all over it. So we'll get that out of the way. That's great. All right. Last Sunday night, we began the Truth Project. We had a wonderful crowd, a huge crowd for a Sunday evening. And uh, the, the lots of children were uh, in the gymnasium. If you were here, you were blessed. I know you were. I've heard so many comments throughout the week about it. If you missed it, I hope and I pray that you will come tonight. But Brother Mark, I just, just, uh, I just didn't think I could participate. Well, let, let me ask you one time, just, just tonight, one time, come to this one lesson. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. To look into God's Word and to see what He has about truth, what He says about truth. If you're taking notes this morning, if you want to look at your notes, look at the first point in your outline. I have a few blanks in your outline this morning. The first one is truth is blank. If you were here last Sunday evening, we took a look at that. The answer is truth is reality. Truth is reality. Truth is what's really real. But people will say, well, Brother Mark, how do I know what's true and what's not? I don't know of a search that's lasted so long and, and, and has gone through time and produced so many incorrect answers than the search for truth. You know that? There have been books written throughout the centuries. And most of these books end up with more questions than they do answers. There are millions upon millions of people who are so close to the truth, they've actually heard the truth. But they don't have a clue. They miss it. And that's what our subject is about this morning. We're going to look in John chapter 18. John chapter 18, a familiar scene. Jesus is uh, coming to the point of crucifixion. And the Jewish leaders have brought him to Pilate. So Pilate is questioning Jesus. Let's look at verse 28. Verse 28, that's where we'll start. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas to the praetorium. And it was early morning. But they themselves did not go into the praetorium, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? And they answered and said to him, If he were not an evildoer, we would not have delivered him to you. Then Pilate said to them, You take him and judge him according to your law. Therefore the Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death, that the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which you spoke, signifying by what death 
he would die. Then Pilate entered the praetorium again, called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Are you speaking this for yourself about this? Or did others tell you this concerning me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priest have delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight, so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born. And for this cause I have come into the world that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, what is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Pilate was a, a ruler in the Roman Empire. Pilate had one of the best educations that were available at the time. And yet, he said, what is truth? He was looking at the truth. He could reach out and touch the truth. And he missed it altogether. You see, my friends, education is not the secret to finding truth in life. Now, don't misunderstand me. I think everyone needs a good education. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into my education. I want everybody to have a good education. But folks, knowledge will not necessarily lead you to truth in life. You understand that, don't you? A lot of smart people out there who don't grasp the truth. Now write this down in your notes. Truth is a person. Truth is a person. That's the second point in your outline. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Jesus said, I'm the end of your search. If you find genuine truth, you will find me. Ladies and gentlemen, Surrendering to the Lordship of Jesus Christ is the only way that you'll ever find truth. And it's the only way you can become a person of truth is knowing Jesus Christ as your Savior. Isn't it great to know somebody you can rely on? Somebody who you know is going to tell you the truth? Isn't it great to know somebody that when you tell, they tell you something, you know you can believe it? When they make you a promise, you can take it to the bank? Isn't it nice to know somebody like that? You see, the reason we, we fall short so much is because we're not dedicated and surrendered to the source of truth, Jesus Christ. And so we start believing lies. And we start being deceived. 